99.5, today's country hits. Jimmy Carter in Nashville. Robin Williams saves the life of a country star as we learn more about the fallen star. All coming up with Chris and Scott. All right, we're looking at uh, partly cloudy conditions with a high today of 92, low tonight. Actually, it's going to be in the upper 60s. I guess we got kind of a cool front. Chris and Scott in the morning. Scott, of course, uh, out uh, until uh, mid-August. Sitting in for him this morning, we've got Bruce Hamilton. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. We also brought in, uh, well, I think he is in the building somewhere. Well, I guess, well, yeah, he is here. Uh, Tom Hager, he actually brought us some uh, breakfast burritos. Yes, he did. Mr. Majestic. Actually, uh, Tom does such a great job at just about everything he touches. And I, I will tell you, um, when he brought, and I know why he brought the burritos because oh. he knows I'm a burrito. I'm a breakfast burrito. Are guy. you now? Yeah, I'm a okay. and and then when he brings it from McDonald's and the great <laughs> folks over at McDonald's with with Doug Garrick and those folks. But you know, a, a funny thing happened to me years ago because every morning what I like to do, I like to get up and I normally will drink five cups of coffee from five to five thirty. About five thirty, I'll go to a stop and rob and I'll get my six cup of coffee. Okay, and then I'll <laughs> um, and then I'll, I'll go set out the lake and I'll put good things into mine. You know, one of the rules of life is you better put good stuff into your mind. And I'll sit out there till about six. And there was this particular place in Lake Charles. And it sold breakfast burritos. And so uh, I'd leave, they didn't open till six, so I'd go there at six, uh, I'd leave the uh, Prairie Lake at six, get there 10 minutes after six, and, and then I'd get my burrito. And then one day I'm sitting there, it's about quarter to six, and it comes up, I said, man, you know what, Bruce, you ought to go and be the first person to get a breakfast burrito off this grill. So I said, this is gonna be great. Ooh, I did, he ain't too pretty. You know, they won't have to put it under the light that turns into rubber. So I take off and I go over there and I, I walk up to the place, it's five minutes to six, so it's not quite open. I figure, what the heck? I go to open the door, boom, door's locked. I look through the window, the little girl standing in the window, and she's holding up her hand. You count me down. Five, four, three, two. Yeah, you would have thought I was in a bank. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so here I am. Here I am. I'm being, you know what, woman? I'm going to change your life when you open that door. So... And she opens the door, and I step in, and I said, oh, ma'am, I'm so excited to be here. I got to be the first person to get a breakfast burrito off this grill. You pour the hot sauce to it. You put the jalapenos on it. I'll enjoy it now. I'll pay for it later. But anyway, you made me the best <laughs> ding dang burrito in the whole wide world. And you know what's amazing? She just turned around. She didn't say one word. She didn't say, Nathan, donut, zip, not a zero. She didn't say, she just looked at me and went, <clears throat> and I got to tell you something. She hated me. She, she turned hated me. She hated me. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm doing a performance. She turns around, and she starts walking around to make me my burrito. And I thought, now I'm going to go on a mission from God because I'm going to get this woman to talk to me. Okay, okay because okay. I can get people to talk to me. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes they talk about my mama, but they still talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> they still talk to me. I don't know. So anyway, so here I am. Uh, she's back there making I said, oh, man, what a great day it is. I mean, think about this. You got a job. I got a job. I said, think about this. I, I was born in Okinawa, Japan. I was raised overseas in Anchor, Turkey, Lebanon, and Israel, all with all those friendly folks. There. Finally moved back to the United States of America. Now, here we are in the greatest country in the whole world. Wide world. I said, think about it. Nobody but nobody stayed up last night trying to figure a way to sneak into Poland. <laughs> okay, you know why? Because nobody wants to go to Poland. People stayed up all over the world trying to figure out how to sneak into America. And so I said, then think about it. So then I started marching. I said, God bless America. And I, yeah, I started marching. I think this is great. So yeah. I, I look out of the corner of my eye, and I'm telling you, now she hates my guts. Okay, right. she'd kill me if I can. Now, now right. I got to shift gears again, because when the person who's cooking your foods hates you, that's whenever drooling occurs. Okay, and so uh, here, here I, you know, hey, what's that white stuff on there, ma'am? Don't worry about it, boy, eat it. And so here I am, uh, I walk up to the counter, and finally, uh, she makes my burrito, and she slides it over to me, and she looks at me, and she says, a dollar seven cents. And I thought to myself, that don't count. Price doesn't count. You gotta say so. You gotta talk to me. Yeah. I said, well, finally, I, I gave her the dollar seven cents. I said, ma'am, aren't you gonna at least say thank you? And she looked at me, and she said, it says it on the receipt. That's what she said. Oh my! Bam! Goodness. Okay, bam! Here I, I listen. <laughs> this woman's this woman's having a bad day, right? Barely so. Yeah, barely so. What I did? Bam! I fired her right there on the spot. Because see, what she didn't understand, there was another place right down the street, and those people down there they make breakfast burritos, and so that's where I go now. Well, good. And, and that's and I go there, and those people down there they treat me like I matter. I come around now, and they expect me. I see the woman looking through the glass, and here he comes! Here he comes! <laughs> it's like a drive-by burrito wing, you know what? I mean? Uh, but anyway, that's my story about breakfast burritos. Okay? He's a little long-winded, okay? Quit playing music. I got a lot to say. More with Bruce Hamilton as our Wednesday show continues. Right here, Gator 99.5.